only a Royal rugby player was a superb player. He had all the natural ability. He's a big, strong fellow, six, four, I think. He had immense pace. He really was quick. And he had a heart of gold. He wouldn't draw back from anything. Great tackler. He didn't score many tries for Ireland, mind you. A lot of people said that. He didn't do his best for Ireland. Uh, he was a great player. Played on the tour so well. Now, Jeff Butterfield, the English centre, played inside him in, in South Africa and said he was the best ever. O'Reilly had, had all the attributes of a footballer. He was a very good soccer player. He was a very good cricketer. He was a very good tennis player. So he had a great feel and timing of a ball. Um, he had great pace, great strength, great sidestep. Tony O'Reilly was a very talented footballer and uh, in 55 in South Africa, still revered as a great wing in South Africa. And he was only, what, 19 at that time. And again, in New Zealand, they still talk about O'Reilly. There was an old Welsh player said to me at the end of the tour, as I got worse and worse, I got 10 tries in the first six games and then six tries in the last 10 games. He said, you know, he said, the gaps get smaller as your name gets bigger. There's a sort of inverse ratio. He put it another way, he said, to be as good as you were, you've got to be twice as good as you were. And uh, I suddenly realized that for the first time in senior football, I was lumbered with a reputation. He had a great rugby sense. He had great feet. Uh, he, could, he was very fast, I think. That was, he was probably one of the fastest players around at that time. A larger-than-life character who was gregarious, full of fun, um, a man who epitomised in many respects what rugby football is all about. In 1970, after a gap of seven years, O'Reilly, to his amazement and amusement, was recalled to the Irish team. Slattery, who was the youngest member of the team, said at breakfast rather shyly, he said, uh, I saw you, he said, play your first international. I said, oh really, somewhat mollified by this. Yes, he said, my father took me in on his shoulders to watch you play. And McBride, who, um, who in fact celebrates his centenary in the same year as the rugby union, uh, said to me, looking at me rather narrowly because I was uh, fairly heavy at the time, he said, I think he says your best attacking move will be to shake your jowls at your opposite number because they terrify me and I'm only having breakfast with you. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was talking to Cecil Pedlow the other night about it and he said, oh, God, he said it was fantastic. He said, Fielding tried to run round you twice, but the distance was too great. <laughs>